Hi, it's Karen from Karen's World of Beauty here with the lovely model Shauna. Hi. And we're going to demo how to do contour and highlight for you today. So many people have questions about contour and highlight. How do I do it? What do I use? What is it about? It's just a way to enhance your facial features so you, it just makes your bone structure stand out a little bit more. Also, a question people have about when you're doing contour and highlight whether it should be a powder, whether you should do it first. First, I would say do a little bit of foundation where you need it on your face. You don't always need a full face foundation. Sometimes you just need to cover up a little bit of, you know, an even skin tone, or if you have a little bit of circles, cover that up. So first you want to go in and just do a little bit of coverage. Like I said, if you need a little bit of under eye coverage, sometimes a little bit by the nose, you're a little discolored. So just go in there and prep the skin first. Shauna's skin is pretty even, so I don't need to do much. Okay, so the premise of contour and highlight is you want to put the lighter color on the tops of the cheekbone, a little on the center of the forehead, down the nose, and a little on the tip of the chin. It's just supposed to be where the light hits you that you want to, to, to proceed or to go look forward. And contour, where you want things to recede and fall away. So that's like under the cheekbone, a little bit under the chin if you need it, on the far edge of the forehead. And for some people, they like to do a little contour down the nose. I'm really not a big proponent of that, but it teaches them. So we're going to do the contour shade first. You should keep within one, I'd say two to three shades of your skin tone. You don't want it to look too dark because then it'll look like, what is that muddy mess on your face? So, I find that it's much easier and softer and natural looking to do the contour in a your foundation, whether it's a liquid foundation, whether it's a cream foundation, sitting around the hairline. And if your man don't tell you every day how beautiful you are, I'm letting you know right there. And you now just you blend it in. And you kind of want to step back, look at the face. Okay, it's looking pretty. It's supposed to just subtly enhance, and I'm going to do a little bit on the nose just to show you. It's really supposed to be soft. Also, if you have a little bit of a wider jaw like Shawnee, you can also use a little bit of contour jawline too. Okay, now we're going to go in with the highlight, the lighter color. Once again, you go two to three shades lighter than your natural skin tone. And it's just a place for the sun with it. Down the center of the nose, the center of the forehead, top of the cheekbones, and a little right here in the tip of the chin. You can also do like a little bit of following. And like I said, it shouldn't look super obvious. When you blend it in, it should be very subtle. Just enhancing your natural facial features. And then from there, you go on and do your normal makeup. I also like to, if I really want to emphasize this facial structure, 
I'll go in with a highlighting powder or a darker powder to deepen the contour. But for every day, it can be a little bit much. I think if you do it just with the foundation, that will give you the look you need. So it's just subtly enhancing your facial structure. It should look really soft and natural. It shouldn't look like a drag queen. I think that's unnatural. So here it is. Demo face contour and highlight. Thanks so much. We'll see you soon.